But Jin Yang has one more opportunity to prove herself on the uneven bars. If she is to have any chance of getting through, she now has to produce a near perfect performance. Huge pressure. She holds her nerve. It's a superb performance. She did pretty well. Not bad at all. But after her earlier mistakes, there's no guarantee that this will be enough to see Jin Yang through. As the judges compile and compare everyone's results, she receives one small consolation. Yeah. <laughs> Neither her father nor her coach pull their punches. Jin Yang has to wait a full two hours before the judges have tallied all the scores. Pinned on a notice board in a back corridor are their final verdicts. Father and daughter have no idea what to expect. <laughs> Jin Yang's performance on the bars has scored enough to put her through to the next round of selection. She is one step closer to her dream. stop thinking about the Olympics in 2008, especially the moment when I hold up the gold medal. Sometimes I get tears in my eyes when I think about it, but I know I'll have to take it one day at a time. For Jin Yang, a childhood sacrificed for a chance of Olympic glory is a price worth paying. If you just sit around, you won't get anywhere. Life won't give you a gold medal for nothing. In Taizhou, far from Shanghai, Sun Feng's wife is still playing out a traditional woman's role. She is single-handedly cooking a 22-course New Year's feast for her family. But as she cooks, Sun Feng's wife reveals that she also has her eye on greater things. My dream is to be a superwoman. Nowadays, since the reforms, women can run their own businesses and make money for themselves. They don't have to use their husband's money. We don't have to rely on what mood he's in in order to get things. In the darkness, streets fill as crowds head to friends' and relatives' houses.
In Sun Feng's family home, the food is ready. The rice wine is open. Everyone finally sits down together. There's a whole year of catching up to do. <laughs> and there's one more tradition to be followed. New Year's is also the time for giving gifts of money. <laughs> Sun Feng now produces all the cash he's managed to save from his year cleaning windows. A year spent far from home and family. I feel that this money didn't come my way easily. I've sacrificed a large part of my life for that money. And I feel that is very hard. I've risked my life for that money. Sun Feng's father is simply happy to have the cash in his pocket. We'll save more and more money. Then we'll be able to use it to buy things we really want, like a car. <laughs> At the same moment, in the great city of Hong Kong, the entire population is heading to the waterfront. As the clock ticks down towards the biggest fireworks display ever seen in the city. In Taizhou, Sun Feng has lit the lanterns hanging over the door. He and his father are setting out their own, somewhat smaller display. For fireworks are another great tradition of the Chinese New Year. Another way to frighten off evil spirits and bring luck for the coming year. turns, it seems that all China has been swept up in a storm of change, a tempest of shifting values, of growing wealth, of new opportunities, a tempest that is reshaping the lives of every one of its 1.3 billion citizens. Some carry the burden of a nation's hope on the slightest of shoulders. While others have already triumphed, building empires of their own. Some are fighting to build a new nation, secure and safe. As others struggle to preserve a 5,000 year history. For some, there is now prosperity never seen before. While for others, wealth and success must still lie in the future. Whether or not every one of China's citizens can ever realize their dreams, perhaps the difference in the new China is that everyone can now have one.